Hey, it's Justin Brown here from Primal Video. YouTube Live is a great platform for hosting your live streams. But as with all live streaming, for best results, it's important to take a few precautions before switching live to prevent any unnecessary dropouts or dips in quality while you're live. In this video, we'll run through how you should be testing for any issues before switching live on YouTube and the right settings to help you minimize the chances of any problems or dropouts while you're live. So probably the biggest thing to be aware of is that broadcasting to YouTube Live isn't the same as watching a regular YouTube video. If you're watching a regular YouTube video and your internet drops out for a second or you lose some speed for a second, YouTube will automatically lower the quality for you and you'll still be able to continue watching your video. But with YouTube Live, when you press that go button, you're committing to YouTube that you're gonna provide a consistent video feed at a set quality and a set bit rate, which means that your internet needs to match that. The moment that you can't or that your internet drops even slightly, then it's gonna be less than ideal results for anyone watching. One of the features that helps YouTube Live really stand out, especially when compared to something like Facebook Live, is that it actually lets you set the quality of the stream that you wanna broadcast. So Facebook Live is limited to a 720p stream, whereas YouTube will let you broadcast anything from 240p right up to 1080p. Now in each one of those quality or resolution settings, there is a bare minimum of data that YouTube is looking to receive in order to provide you with a stable broadcast. So for example, with a 1080p stream, the minimum data that YouTube will be expecting from you is three megabits per second, which is the bit rate of the video file that you're encoding will be encoded at three megabits per second. So what that means is in order for YouTube to be able to receive a three megabit per second video file from you, your upload speed needs to be at least three megabits per second in order to push that video file consistently to YouTube. So for a 1080p video, as we just said, the bare minimum that YouTube will expect for you or your bare minimum bandwidth overhead is three megabits per second with the maximum being six megabits per second. So that means that YouTube won't use any more than six megabits per second even if you've got insanely awesome internet. For a 720p stream, YouTube needs a bare minimum of 1.5 megabits per second and a maximum of four megabits per second. And for a 480p stream, YouTube requires a bare minimum of 0.5 megabits per second or 500 kilobits per second and a maximum of two megabits per second. If you're not able to meet that bare minimum speed, then you won't be able to push the consistent data through to YouTube, which means that you're gonna be introducing things like dropouts, bad audio, or really, really bad quality. Now I hear people say all the time, that's fine, I've got really good internet. I've got a 20 megabit connection or a 50 megabit connection. Now that's all well and good, but that's normally in relation to the download speed, not the upload speed. What we're talking about here is upload speed because you're actually uploading your video stream to YouTube. In a lot of cases, your upload speed is actually way lower than your download speed. Fortunately, it's really easy to check your upload speed before going live on YouTube, and that will allow you to pick the right quality and bitrate settings so that you're minimizing the risk of any issues. So before you go live, head over to speedtest.net. If you're on a computer, then you can run a speed test there on the website, or you can download the speed test app to your iOS or Android device and run it on there as well. So when you run a speed test, it'll actually do three quick tests. It'll test your ping, it'll test your download speed, and it will test your upload speed. And remember, it's the upload speed that's important for live streaming. All right, so you've run a speed test. What can you do if your internet speed isn't fast enough or isn't stable enough at the speeds that you need to get the quality that you want to YouTube? Well, the first thing that you could do is look at the potential to drop the quality of the live stream. So if you were trying to do a 1080p stream, which meant that you needed a minimum of three megabits per second upload, you could look at maybe doing a 720p stream, which will drop the minimum requirement down to 1.5 megabits per second upload. If you're on a shared internet connection, either at your home or office, then there's the potential that there's other people there using the internet and chewing up all your precious bandwidth. If that's the case, you might be able to limit their usage or you could look at a 4G or an LTE connection. If you are gonna be using a 4G or an LTE connection, then just be aware that those speeds can fluctuate dramatically. So make sure that you're well above your minimum threshold for your bandwidth. Most live streams today on YouTube are pushed out at a 720p resolution, which means that you need a bare minimum, as we mentioned before, of 1.5 megabits per second upload speed. 
Personally, if I ran a speed test and it came back saying I had a connection of two megabits per second upload, and it was a solid two megabits per second, I still probably wouldn't do it. I just like to have a bit of a buffer in there because you never know what's gonna happen. So for me, the bare minimum for a 720p live stream would be 2.5 megabits per second upload. And I mean bare minimum. It sounds so simple, but you'd be surprised how many people don't know how fast their internet connection is and don't run a speed test before they go live on YouTube. And it's probably the biggest thing you could do to help prevent any unnecessary issues while you're live on YouTube. If you found this video helpful, make sure you hit that big subscribe button, leave us a comment and give us a thumbs up. If not, thumb it down, we'd like the feedback. Make sure you head over to primalvideo.com forward slash subscribe to subscribe to our weekly video updates. I'll see you next time.